Namaste everyone, this is Shibhi Goel, the author on travel and the spiritual blogger. This video is in the continuation to the last video wherein I'm talking about the wellness destinations and wellness travel. It's kind of a series which I'm doing uh, only for India as of now. If you haven't seen the previous video, I'm dropping the link in the description. Please go watch it so you're able to connect. In this short video, we'll be talking about the best time and seasons wherein when you can travel for your uh, wellness journey. And in the end, I'm going to be giving you five destinations more where you can embark on your wellness journey in India. First is winter season. Winter season is one of my all-time favorites. So it is from October to February. This is considered to be the peak season for your wellness travel in most part of the uh, India, you know. Uh, the weather is really pleasant here and it's ideal for the outdoor activities like yoga, meditation and exploring nature and going on short trips. During this time, regions like Rishikesh, Dharamshala and Goa, they experience moderate temperatures, making it a little more comfortable for the wellness activities which you want to engage in. Coming next is the monsoon season. Monsoon season is from June to September. Now this monsoon season brings lush green tea to India and it is amazing to see how all over India turns green. Destinations like Kerala and especially and particularly the southern part of India are enchanting during this time. Ayurvedic treatments and rejuvenation therapies are highly recommended during this monsoon season because your body's receptiveness towards the oils, the treatments, the medicines is believed to be enhanced and hence you can uh, benefit more. The third is the shoulder seasons. So what are the shoulder seasons? Let me tell you. The shoulder seasons are March to May and September to November. So the October is October to February is the winter season, then June to September is monsoons and the shoulder seasons are March to May and September to November. These seasons and these periods, they actually balance the favorable uh, weather conditions and fewer crowds. So people who um, are looking for uh, forward to lesser crowd time and you know, they don't like, they don't want to indulge into like it's crowded there and no place to stay, accommodation is an issue sometimes, you know. So you can actually consider these shoulder seasons and you can travel in during that particular time. Last part of the video uh, wherein I am giving you top five wellness travel destinations in India which are not only preferred by Indians but all over the globe people prefer to come to these five destinations. The so number one topping the charts is Rishikesh. We have spoken about it in the last video. Please check the link. Uh, Rishikesh is nestled in the foothills of Himalayas and it is often called as the yoga capital of the world. It offers a serene and tranquil environment which is perfect for yoga and meditation retreats. In addition to this, the city has numerous ashrams, yoga centers and spa resorts that provide you various wellness programs and spiritual practices. So go for it. Second is my favorite Kerala. It's known as the God's own country. Kerala is renowned for its Ayurvedic therapies and rejuvenation treatments all across the world, not only India. The state is blessed with lush green landscapes, the backwaters and the Ayurvedic resorts that offer traditional healing therapies to resolve the balance and harmony of the mind, body and soul. The third is Dharamshala which is a second home to me. Located in the picturesque Kangra Valley of Himachal Pradesh, Dharamshala is the Dalai Lama's residence and a Tibetan Buddhism hub. It offers a serene atmosphere for meditation and spiritual retreats. Visitors can engage in yoga classes and meditation sessions and explore the tranquil surroundings while immersing themselves in Tibetan culture and philosophy. Second last is Goa. Beyond its reputation as a beach paradise and a beach hub of India and across the world. Goa also offers a range of wellness options. Now yoga retreats, Ayurvedic treatments, wellness centers, they are scattered across the state and they provide you the relaxing and holistic experiences which you're seeking for. Combining the city beaches, yoga practices, outdoor activities, natural therapies, the architecture of Goa, it all makes an excellent wellness destination for you. The last which uh, I recommend to everyone to once please visit is Mysore. 
home of the iconic Mysore Palace and renowned for its traditional yoga schools, Mysore is a popular destination for wellness seekers. The city hosts several yoga shalas and institutes and classes that offer authentic yoga teacher training courses and retreats that actually attract a lot of practitioners worldwide. So before I wrap up, I would just like to say one thing that before you embark on your transformative journey, remember it's always advisable to do your research and choose a reputable wellness centers and practitioners and teachers to ensure uh, an authentic and real and safe experience for yourself and your family and friends. Enjoy your wellness travel in the incredible India. India is beautiful. Enhance your spirituality and explore yourself and the natural beauty of our country, India. If you wish to travel with me, please comment down and get in touch. Uh, other than that, please don't forget to subscribe the channel because uh, it's all about smiling, being happy, knowledge, learning and travel and a lot more. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.